With no further ado, London, Ontario, are you ready to start the fights again? Say yeah! Here we go for your fifth fight of the night. Making his way out to the blue corner, please welcome Matt Dawson. All right, we have some uh, smaller guys. It's funny, we've gone from like 125 to, you know, 235. That's about it. <laughs> we've been at much middle ground. We're back down to kind of flyweight division. Uh, we're going to see Matt Dawson coming out, uh, representing Chatham, uh, trained by a variety of different people. Manny Alfaro was actually from Windsor, who fought on the last uh, Prospect Fighting Championships card. And uh, so we'll see him come out uh, as he identifies as more freestyle. Matt Dawson, he calls himself the pit bull. Uh, he's vicious, he comes in heavy, heavy hands. Ferocious guy, um, decorated amateur record, nine wins, six losses, making his debut now as a professional fighter. He's mean, tough kid, uh, he's fighting Nate Ledger. Uh, Nate Ledger, London boy, representing Munda Jiu Jitsu. We saw Seth Connor, we saw Chris Lee Burns, their coaches, and then uh, Nate Ledger now will be stepping into the cage momentarily. He's 0-1 as a professional. Had a little bit of an issue, I heard, at the weigh-ins leading into the fight. Um, I don't think, I don't believe he made the weight of 125. Uh, we'll see how that plays into effect now coming into this bout. see when you you know we have an opportunity to see all the sponsors that step up from some of these athletes because in my day there wasn't really we didn't really have that you know where it was you know you had all these sponsors coming on board and you're representing them and they're kind of lifting you up but you're seeing you know both Nate Ledger and Matt Dawson with a, a slew of sponsors kind of representing them which is is pretty awesome and you know I've talked about that before we we were training and fighting when it was like just all sacrifice you may be working three different jobs to accommodate your training schedule but uh, the sponsors that come on board really help out so much being able to train full-time and not have the responsibility of a full-time job is is it's game-changing right it, it allows you to focus and channel all your energies all your all, all your emotions, all your hard work into the fighting game, um, it definitely plays to your advantage. And uh, Matt Dawson has a wealth of uh, sponsors here backing him up. JR Renovations, Top Team Construction, Bellinger Drywall, College Clothier, Terrell the Barber, Sig Sign Regius, Torch Media, and Peak Athletics. Man, that guy's got more sponsors than GSP. <laughs> his opponent making his way out to the red corner. This is Nate Ledger. So as you were saying, uh, Nate coming in, uh, weighing a little heavier, 127, uh, walking around about 150 as opposed to Matt Dawson, about 142, uh, Munda Jiu-Jitsu. Now, do you see that more uh, in the London area? You actually have MMA fighters coming out of a, a strictly Jiu-Jitsu club, or are they kind of hybrid there as well? It's a mix, um, you know, adrenaline, uh, MMA, we're mixed martial arts school, heavy kickboxing presence. You see a team like Munda Jiu-Jitsu, very, very strong Jiu-Jitsu presence, but uh, making making waves in the MMA scene, you know, they're, they're, they brought out you know, Seth Connor, super tough opponent for um, yeah, earlier this yeah. night, and he, he, he wouldn't submit, he wouldn't tap. Uh, CLB, Chris Lee Burns, he's the head of the head of the pack there. Tough, tough jiu-jitsu competitor, and and that's what you know what they're gonna bring is tough, tough jiu-jitsu when you hear Munda jiu-jitsu. Um, but don't kid yourself; these guys know how to strike. You know they they fight, they spar a lot. I see how they guys train, and they spar a lot. And it's good, like, you know what I mean? The, the, the best way to prepare for a fight is to fight, right? So, and they do that, so they, they do a good job of that. Ex 
exciting fight. The flyweights are out. Matt Dawson, 124.4 weighs in. Nate Ledger ends up missing weight at 127.2. London, Ontario versus Here Chatham, we go, Ontario. PFC fight fans. The following flyweight contest is scheduled for three rounds. Being brought to you by Medical Cannabis Research Group, Baxter and Nash Jewelers. Introducing your fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed in white. Standing five feet, six inches tall, he weighed in at 124.4 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing CK Combat. He comes to the PFC cage for his professional debut fight tonight. Fighting out of Chatham, Ontario, by way of Ridgetown, Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Matt the Pitbull Dawson. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks. Standing five feet, seven inches tall, he weighed in at 127.8 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist representing Munda Jiu-Jitsu. He comes to the PFC cage looking for his first professional victory with a record of 0-1. Fighting out of and representing London, Ontario, ladies and gentlemen, here is Nate the Hate Ledger. This flyweight contest will be decided in three rounds or less. I've heard of Nate the Great. I've never heard of Nate the Hate. <laughs> I hate you so much. What about that one? We've all heard that one. <laughs> um, yeah, so Nate Ledger in, coming out in the red compression trunks and the red gloves. And we have Matt Dawson in the black shorts and the blue gloves. Uh, they both look like they're coming out with some high intensity. So don't blink. Guns blazing. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes. Round one underway. Matt Dawson coming out as a southpaw. And, you know, Nate probably land those shots if he gets his foot to the outside a little bit. It creates that, you know, looks for that space to, to line up that right hand instead of having to loop it. Uh, long range, though. Uh, he, his arm's a lot longer than they appear. Oh. Uh, doubling up that left hook, uh, did a great job with that, was able to drop that right oh. hand, but dumping him on his back is Matt Dawson. Smart move by Matt Dawson. He's getting tagged up on the top. Yeah, and he was tagged by shots that are really hard to see because a little bit wild, a little yep. bit uh, outside yep. shots. Yep, yep, yep. Threatening there with the Kimura. Matt Dawson still staying on the back here, riding him. Got one hook in. Doesn't have the position sealed yet. Nate Ledger diligently fighting that grip. Not allowing Matt Dawson to get the arms around the neck so he can sink in that rear naked choke. It's hard to see, you know, from the angle that we're at, you know, what Matt is looking for, what he's digging for, what he's able to see. And uh, here with the reverse, Nate. Beautiful. Is Big he, shots by yeah. Nate. Climbing up on his back and ends up getting dumped on his oh. back. But we're going to see if he can. Lands right into a triangle. Oh, excellent transition. Triangle to arm bar. He was able to pull out of that. And, you know, these guys just working at a high rate. Yeah, like the pit bull. Matt Dawson not allowing Nate Ledger to get the legs wrapped around fully to finish that armbar. Matt Dawson is trying to posture up a few times, but Nate Ledger just had such a hold oh. on him and reversing the position ends Beautiful. up into a high mount. Look at this. Beautiful sweep by Nate Ledger. He dug that. Nate. Underhook on that leg. Took him right over. You're already seeing in Matt's face, he, you know, you can tell he feels really vulnerable in that position. 
Nate continues to work hard, dropping some elbows, it, making Matt give up his back. Looking for the body lock, stretching Up. him out. Yep. And any second, he think he's going for that choke right there. You know, I don't Nate know if he's got it right underneath the neck. No, he doesn't. He opts to back out. Nate has not let up since the opening bell. Flattened out. This is this is a tough spot to be in right now for Matt Dawson. Well, this is the character play right here. This is where you see somebody that kind of, you know, guts it out at the at this point where they feel almost defeated. They try to do a bunch of stuff that wasn't successful and then end up in this position. Ma uh, Nate Ledger indicating to the ref that Matt Dawson is grabbing onto the shorts. Didn't have any effect to the advantage of, Nate, uh, of Matt Dawson. Nate Ledger still on the back like a backpack. And this is where it feels different for someone like Matt who hasn't been in a pro cage with you know five minute rounds where you typically are thinking, okay, I'm gonna hear that 10 second bell anytime. <laughs> and it, it yeah, ends up being a lot longer. No, the rounds are longer. It's, it's a lot more advantageous for the Jiu Jitsu practitioner with a five minute round being able to play his game Seal the position right now, you know. If we were in an amateur fight, the bell would have rang a long time ago. He's relentless on the back though. Nate Ledger not giving up position. The thing that you notice quickly about Nate, like right from the opening bell, he's really athletic. He's able to maneuver in, in certain positions that is kind of where he's always heavy on you. He's always weighing on you. And the 10 second clap right there. Close, close first round. Well, close, close first yeah, round. Nate came out swinging. I mean, his shots were long, a little bit wild, but but landing, right? Because it's really difficult to see. Matt realized uh, the safer bet was to shoot, take him down. He had some success on the, on the ground, but Nate quickly was able to reverse that. So him coming away with that round. Yeah, definitely. Positionally, uh, Nate Ledger dominated. It was close. Uh, neither fighter made, landed any, any dynamic shots that were able to knock the opponent and, and, and win them or anyways, but I definitely give Nate Ledger that first round. If Nate can come out and adjust to the fact that Matt comes out as a southpaw and like get that outside foot position and he's able to land those straight punches, uh, you know, down the pipe with his head on the outside, I think he's going to land out, those clean. Make some noise, London, round two. It's just Fighters have a tendency to curl themselves in, which is not the spot you want to be in against the southpaw. Yeah, that looping right hand was working for Nate. See if we'll, we'll see if he goes back to that tactic here. Round two underway. So Nate Ledger in the red trunks, and we have Matt Dawson in the black. And again, it w you've got to almost creep that right hand forward a bit when you face a southpaw because your right hand's really far from them. That's why you end up with that wild shot. Finishing up with the left hook, and then. Cleaning up with a jab is, is such a great technique. He walked into a jab right there with Matt Dawson. Nate Ledger keeping him away, keeping him at distance. Oh! Lead uppercut, straight left hand. And a good change up from Matt Dawson. We started, you know, using his hands and then throwing some knees up the center when Nate was trying to slip some of those shots. Yeah, Nate was tagging him on the outside with those jabs, closing the gap. Very common position we're seeing tonight. On the fence, that grind. Yeah, and, but, and the great thing is watching them, they're still working. You know, it's not that, let me take my breath. They, they don't have those veteran moves in them yet where they, they, you know, you learn how to take a few breaths. They're just constantly working. That's what's always excited about newer guys in the cage. Yep. This is the youth right here. Yeah. <laughs> what's that like? <laughs> yeah. 
And here we go, back to the feet. And again, I think Matt saw he had success when he came in and, and started pushing Nate back. So we'll see if he has that, you know, in the tank. Nate's got to go back to that jab. He's got, when he stays at the end of his shots, he's got some really long, long punches. People have a tendency to loop that right hand against oh! the southpaw, and, and that's what happens. You leave your down the center too open, and that's what happens again. Just like that. You can't loop that right hand because you just are so susceptible down the pipe. And you saw I Matt Dawson. I think that's Dawson. a wrap. Yeah, you saw that's him come a back. Wrap. Matt he, Dawson with the win. He hit that straight two down the pipe, and basically it was over from there. Wow. Beautiful shot. Honestly, Kara, I was worried at any moment Matt Dawson might be going down. Uh, Nate was landing those looping right hands. They were landing the stiff jab, landing. And Matt Dawson changes it up. I think it was with a lead uppercut down the pipe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what landed him, that drop. Well, I think he went inside that looping right hand and it was able to throw a straight punch. A straight punch is an A to B shot. You're always gonna be quicker on a straight shot than you are a loop shot. It's, you know, you're too open and you're too vulnerable when you hit, especially against a southpaw. If you ever want to throw that overhand right, you got to dip your head offline because if you keep it down the center, you are completely open and defenseless. Excellent fight. The Pitbull, Matt Dawson, 9-6 and six as an amateur right now. 1-0 and oh is a pro. The sponsors are out, and he did it for the boys with a big KO over Nate Ledger. Chatham, Ontario zone, Matt Dawson. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for both of the fighters in this cage. <laughs> Referee Patrick Ula steps in to stop this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of the second and final round for your winner by TKO, Matt, the Pitbull Dawson. All right, real fast. Real fast, because we're running out of time. Look right there, Matt Dawson. Who do you got to thank for your victory? I got to thank my wife for holding down the house the last three days out there while I preparated for this fight. Uh, I want to thank my sponsors, JR Renovation, Joel the Barber, my gym, CK Combat, Belanger Drywall Top Team, Peak Thang Athletics, Collins Corners, Prospect for having me on this fight. Yeah, baby. And uh, Sign Rages for doing all my shirts and stuff. I want to thank my whole team. We put in a hell of a 12 weeks. I just coming off the couch, you know, a year and a half layoff, had my baby girl. I'm getting glad to be back in here. Shout out to my diehard Frank Parker right here. He's been with me since day one. Represent Chatham and Richtown. Thank you for all my employees coming out tonight. Hope I put on a good show. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Matt the Pitbull Dawson. I think the difference in there was, you know, what the corner said to, to Matt in between rounds. Essentially, when you see that looping shot go down the pipe, and, you know, that was the success for him. It really changed the tempo because Nate was doing well kind of on his feet and on the ground, and it, and it really turned things around. Matt Dawson was able to shut him down. Shut him down with that beautiful straight hand. Got him the win. KO victory.